Puzzle games are good for you. They allow you to take a breath and wrap your head around something very different to what you're used to. It's been a pretty stellar year for puzzlers on console and we wanted to celebrate that by shining a spotlight on those games that managed to stick in our heads well after we put our pads down. A beautifully stylish and engaging side-scroller puzzle platform with a lovely soundtrack to match, Hue is an indie game that you may have missed coming out the dark end of summer. There are a few other games like it, obvious limbo comparisons aside, with its neat colour-based gameplay MacGuffin and serene reflective nature. It's hard to find a game that focuses so much on colour, and we thought it was a really neat and unique mechanic. Q even benefits from a kind of Metroidvania-style mechanic that encourages you to revisit areas once you have a new colour at your disposal, giving it a replayability that you otherwise wouldn't see in puzzle games. It's an engaging project that promotes the use of both sides of the brain and makes you come away with a whole new appreciation for the colours of the world. Aww. My personal favourite thing about the Turing Test was it was a game with a sense of humour. A sense of humour as awful as my own. It's dry, bone dry, the sort of humour you'd expect from a weathered museum curator. This humour offsets the surprisingly intellectual puzzles of the game, and between the game's tone and gameplay, the Turing Test had one of the strongest personalities of anything we've played this year. What we like about the Turing Test compared to its genre stablemates is the way it doesn't really make you backtrack. We felt like it just wanted to show off as much of its world and its puzzles as it could, rather than get you racking up playtime just because. We respect that in a game like this, and that's why it made our list. One of this year's most beautiful games, Unravel doesn't quite display the design prowess to match its wonderful visuals, but it's still an enjoyable and outright charming experience. You can clear the whole thing in 5 hours, which we think is a good sweet spot for a game like this, and the simple mechanic based around string physics is a little smart tool that just keeps on giving. We're including Unravel in this list because other games all have something kind of off about them. They're a bit grim, or heavy, or outright dystopian. Unravel is one of these rare, feel-good games that just manages to be enjoyable without trying to lecture you or teach you something about the world. It's not a hard game. The puzzles are all really easy, to be honest. But this is a game that's more concerned with making you smile than it is with making you think. And we really, really like that. Probably one of the most enigmatic games ever created, The Witness is a shining example of excellent game design. When we first started playing it, we thought how the hell can Jonathan Blow & Co make these puzzles interesting for an entire game? Now we don't know how he did it, but somehow Thekla Inc pulled it off. The result is nothing short of magical. The Witness is a game that feels like it's been made by architects rather than game designers. The world and the colour and all these hidden weird artefacts throughout the island are probably more interesting than the various maze puzzles you've got to tackle. For a game composed entirely of different kinds of hacking minigame, The Witness is surprisingly addictive, and it's pretty kind on you as well because you know that if it wanted to, the witness could totally and utterly humiliate you. Inside is a spiritual successor to Playdead's hugely successful Limbo, where you control an unnamed boy in a harsh and weary dystopian future. Inside carries on that theme of isolation and hopelessness, but marries it with this wonderfully grim world of body horror and scientific intrigue. The game's puzzles are constantly changing, forcing you into trial and error gameplay. It's a totally silent game that encourages you to experiment with mechanics that are introduced almost on a whim making you feel as awed and frightened by this weird world as the boy acting as your avatar. The game has spawned fan theories galore, including one of our own, and continues to lure people to its murky depths, trying to figure out not only the puzzles you'll find in the project, but what the hell it's actually all about. 